Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Welcome to the show. I am Steve Punt. He is Hugh Dennis. Steve, can I just stop you there? I have a rather important announcement to make. It's about the names. What? Steve Punt and Hugh Dennis? Yeah, please don't. No, because I've decided, as an artist, I wish to change my name to a symbol. <laughs> what, like Prince? Yeah, I think Prince has got the right idea, and I want to follow his example. From now on, I'm the artist formerly known as Hugh Dennis. <laughs> right, OK, fair enough. So what is your new name? <laughs> As exam results are announced, we ask if the questions really are getting easier and look at this year's A-level maths paper. <laughs> we have mind-expanding 60s music from the counterfeit stones and heartwarming 60s drama in Downbeat. <laughs> and we look at the government's plan to cash in on the success of the big issue with the launch of their own glossy magazine for the less fortunate, homeless and gardenless. <laughs> Now, I was on the bus recently, and you know, just behind the driver's cabin, there's a sign that says, no standing beyond this point. Well, not anymore. London Transport have changed it. And the sign I saw was this one. No standees beyond this point. No what? Standees. <laughs> now, let me tell you something about the word standee. It's not a word. That's its essential problem. It isn't a word. London Transport have made it up. It's not in the dictionary. There we are, you see, look, the Oxford English Dictionary, official record of the English language. It is not there. But, oh, no, look, look, I'm wrong. There it is at the bottom, standing. <laughs> Stupid word made up by London Transport. <laughs> Why do people who write signs get this urge to make up pointless new words for things which are perfectly clear? I mean, what am I doing now, right? I am standing, yes? I am standing but not according to London Transport. No, I am not standing, I am a standee. I was a city, but now I am a standee. And if I walk over here, I'm a walkie. And in fact, I'm talking at the same time, so I'm a walkie-talkie. <laughs> now, Linford Christie, on the other hand, is a runny. Standee is not a word. Elton John did not sing a song called I'm Still a Standee, right? <laughs> When Paul McCartney wrote, I saw her standing there, John Lennon didn't say, hang on, mate, shouldn't that be, I saw her there, being a standee? <laughs> what is wrong with the bureaucrats that produce this stuff? Do they think that no standing beyond this point is confusing, like it means no standing at all? No one can ever stand there, <laughs> even though the door's there. <laughs> In other words, you can't get off the bus unless you shuffle out on your bottom. <laughs> Of course not. These people have no understanding of English, and I will not stand in for this any longer. Apart from anything else, we all know what a sign like that really means anyway. Can't sit. Tough luck. We hate you. Good evening. I'm Tony Shannon. And I'm Ian Pye. And you're watching Update with me, Tony Shannon. And me, Ian Pye. Tonight in the studio, special guest, Neil Andrew. Uh, it's Andrew Neil. Good evening, Neil. I'm Tony Shannon. <laughs> and I'm Andrew Neil. And I'm Tony Shannon. <laughs> and this is... Andrew. No, I'm not Andrew. You're Andrew. I'm Tony Shannon. And I'm Ian Pye. With a special guest, Neil Andrew. I'm Andrew Neil. And I'm Tony Shannon. <laughs> and I'm Ian Pye. And I'm getting fed up. You're with Update. I'm Tony Shannon. And I'm talking to Rob. Bob Andrew. Rob. Andrew? That's right, I'm Tony Shannon. Over now to Ian Pye. I'm Ian Pye. We're talking to Prince Andrew. This isn't here, is it? No, Andrew, you're with update. I'm Tony Shannon. And I'm Ian Pye. And I'm Julie Andrews. Over to Ian. Andrew, if I can turn to you. Yes. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. I'm Andrew Neal. And I'm Ian Pye. And I'm Tony Shannon. <laughs> Right, it's time now to go to our resident weatherman, Norris, who is with us on a Home Office Rehabilitation Scheme for Reformed Criminals. Norris, good evening. Good evening to you, Steve. So, yeah. what's the uh, weather news for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're expecting a spot of unseasonal frost. These cold fronts are sweeping in from this severe low over Greenland, right across the Atlantic, and bringing sub-zero temperatures into Scotland and the north. Well, that sounds rather nasty. Yeah, indeed. Check your lagging or you may find that your water pipes freeze and burst. Burst pipes. <laughs> Householder panics, disguise yourself as a plumber, blag your way in while they're upstairs, you get into the living room, get yourself something nice! Morris! <laughs> <laughs> Would you advise people to stay inside? Inside? I've never been inside. Who told you I was inside? I was out of the country, living with my brother, working abroad on a long holiday. I was never inside, not for long. I'm straight, straight as I die, Morris! I tell you! The summary. 
So, to summarise, freezing temperatures, pipes frozen, dress up as a plumber, blag your way in, get yourself some in noise! <laughs> <laughs> now, you may remember that we both watch far too many old films, uh, usually to play our favourite game, Spot the Stiff. Uh, you know, um, in a war film, for example, if a character says, When this war's over, I'm going to marry that girl of mine. <laughs> Dead, Dead, you see? <laughs> Dead. However, you must always bear in mind that in films, the American stars are much more likely to survive than the British ones. Now, in The Great Escape, for example, Charles Bronson... ..makes it to a boat. James Coburn... ..makes it to Spain. Steve McQueen... ..falls off his motorbike, but otherwise he's fine. However, <laughs> Richard Attenborough... Dead. Dead. Dead, you see? <laughs> Gordon Jackson... Dead. Dead. That was a <laughs> And, of course, Donald Pleasance, the forger. Let me come with you. <laughs> I can see, I can see perfectly. 